idea is that the level of interlinkage across time and space is so deep, and the level of human oversight and understanding is so shallow relative to the connectivity of the system, and the pace of change is so fast, that essentially these types of phase transitions that we're talking about are unknowable. Right? They're unpredictable in the sense that before they're happening, you can never know when they're going to occur. And they um, are only evident when you're at the edge or actually going through them or even afterwards. Especially when you're talking about delays in things like ecosystems where you see fisheries, where there's a time delay between an action and the response. If you actually overfish something, you're not going to experience it until two or three generations of fish later, at which point you will already cross the threshold and the fish population will collapse. So realistically, you can't prepare for these types of things because you can never know when they're going to occur. So therefore, I think the only thing that we can responsibly do is take strategic actions that increase our adaptive capacity, right? increase our ability to deal with them when we find ourselves in the midst of one. Now, this is one of those things which I'm not quite sure is, 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 is a sort of shallow generality or a profound truth. I generally tend to think this errs on the side of profound truth because this essentially goes against all of our rational analytic planning culture for the last 40 or 50 years. Right? The idea that we actually can make long-term investments in such a way that we can realistically value them and realistically plan for them and therefore interact with the future in some type of honest, rational way, right? that's what drives all our transport investment, that's what drives all our valuation of companies and these types of things, is the notion that we can value things in the future. Right? And by doing so, you're assuming certain rates of change, which I think are not only inaccurate, but in fact perhaps unethical if you take to heart what the less complexity science are telling us.